I love how you got quiet. <laughs> Let's bow our heads now. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I know some of you uh, drove great distances, but um, I want to just welcome you, and uh, we're in for a real, real treat. So, uh, Native Owen is here. Clap. <laughs> I normally don't have to tell people what to do, but okay. Y'all had some food, so I get it, right? You're a little like. <laughs> but, so, um, let me just share how I came to know uh, Native. First, the first thing is, there was a, a, a peer presence conference. Um, if those of you who may know Bill Free uh, and his wife pulled together, and I saw uh, Nada on on that conference, and I was like, "Well, who is this?" Right? And I was like, "This is beautiful. Love her music." And then um, I had a podcast um, not too long ago, and got a chance to interview her, and. We talked and, and bonded, and I started listening to a lot of her music. For those of you who are familiar with The Course in Miracles, uh, so much of her beautiful music just, uh, I actually use the music when we do our class. We have a Wednesday night class with Awakening Together and that for that community, and we do the course, and I play music from her CDs uh, because they, they come from the course, and it just, to me, they make whatever the lesson is that you're doing that day, they just, make it just stick, right? And um, so that's a little bit about how I met her. And um, so um, in December, I said, we were talking after the podcast, and uh, I said, you know, it'd be great if you come to, let me know if you're ever gonna come to New Jersey, because she's originally from Holland, or that's where she lives now, from Holland, so great distance to be here. Um, and then um, I said, well, let me know if you're going to ever be over in the States and, you know, you want to come to New Jersey. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and she said, oh, okay, uh, well, we can talk about that. And so here she is. So she's been traveling, been down to Florida, Florida, Tennessee, where else have we gone? Uh, Virginia. Virginia. Going, leaving here, going to New York and Pennsylvania, and and we're going up to Toronto. So and Toronto. To Toronto. So she's um, been on tour here, and we're so happy that we could, you know, have her here in New Jersey to, uh, you know, bring her lovely, lovely gift here. And I'm happy to host it. And I uh, just want to give a quick shout out to Jeffrey, uh, who's uh, behind these. There's some people behind the scenes, y'all. This just doesn't happen, just in case you didn't know. This doesn't just happen. There are people behind the scene that support it all. And Burn over there on camera, and uh, Jeffrey here all uh, have been. <laughs> so, with no more, I won't hold it up anymore because we're ready to do this. We call this, and, and, and Ada calls this, a healing concert. So, Let's be healed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just making sure we're in the right room, right? Yeah, OK. Uh, thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you, Jackie and Clint, for opening your house for us. And welcome, everyone. So happy that you're here. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, really happy. Hi, welcome. <laughs> happy to share this afternoon with you all. So, yeah, I feel to start with a song. I, I love starting with this song. Um, the song is called The Light Has Come. Some of you might know it. <laughs> and it's inspired by A Course in Miracles, Workbook Lesson 75. And what I really love about this song is that it reminds us that we're already healed. You know, it says we're already healed, we're already saved, we're already at peace. And that forgiveness is the way to recognize that. Um, so the chorus says, and the lesson also says, the light has come, I have forgiven the world. So it's like the moment that we forgive everything, not just that one person we think deserves it, <laughs> but everything and everyone will recognize that the light has come, that it was always there, right? And we'll, we'll be able to see it again. So, yeah, it's a beautiful reminder. So I invite you to use this song just to check in also with yourself and 
maybe feels good for you to close your eyes, whatever feels good. If you feel to sing along, sing along. And I invite you to just feel how you're feeling in this moment and to really just invite you to come as you are and to be here as you are. So whatever, yeah, whatever you brought with you here today, see if you can just welcome it. Whether you came with joy or if there's still some sadness or anything that troubles you, um, yeah, welcome it. You know, it's here for a reason and I hope the songs can shine some light on whatever might be troubling you or might feel heavy and that we join together here to yeah return home lighter and with more joy the light has come The light 
light of the reworld which has come to replace the unforgiven world you thought was real you thought was real to share it comes from my latest album and so where my first album is really literally uh, workbook lessons from a course of miracles sometimes change just a little bit like things from instead of you to I or things like that but my latest album is really more describing my own journey from darkness to light and it uses uh, sometimes lines from a course of miracles or themes from A Course in Miracles. Um, so in this one song, I got inspired by this beautiful line from A Course in Miracles that says, those who seek the light are merely covering their eyes. The light is in them now. It's such a beautiful passage. And a little bit further it says, enlightenment is but a recognition, not a change at all. And I got so inspired by that because it, yeah, I feel like that's what the Course in Miracles is constantly pointing, pointing us towards it, saying like, you're already there, right? Just like the light has come. It's, it, it, it seems to be this journey, and sometimes it seems to be a difficult and intense journey. Um, but the spirit constantly reminds us like, you're already there. Like, just, you can relax. Like, it's already over. Just enjoy the show, <laughs> you know? Just like you're watching a movie, you know? Like, there's nothing really you can change. It's, it's already recorded and you're sitting in the movie theater and spirit is just like, just watch that movie with me, you know, get some popcorn, relax, chill. And whenever, yeah, whenever we watch it with the ego, it's like, oh, oh my God, what's gonna happen next? And like, oh my God, I need to know. And, and spirit is reminding us, well, you're not actually in the movie. You're in the theater with me, you know, and relax. <laughs> So, yeah, this song is a reminder of that, and it also reminds us of, of our worth, you know, that it's not something that we have to work for, <laughs> but yeah, that it's already here, that it's just waiting to be recognized. Covering their 
I feel to share it really describes um, the journey that I've been through before surrendering my voice to spirit I'm so grateful that I did that and that I'm here now to share this with all of you um, but this song yeah, it describes a moment where it starts off by saying all that I thought that was certain fell away the ones I thought never to leave me couldn't stay. And the song is called Dark Night of the Soul. And I think we all, we all know those, right? Like dark nights or dark years of the soul. <laughs> um, and I wrote this song a couple of years after that period. And so it's written from a, from a perspective where I could already see like, oh, that actually in that dark night of the soul, the spirit was there and was calling me to, yeah, to surrender. It was actually using that dark night that got me on my knees. You know, it, I, I needed that in order to come to this place of there has to be a better way. And before that, I still felt that my way um, was better and that I, I knew where to go by myself. Like I didn't really need spirit. You know, I thought, like, I'm not gonna follow, like I'm a leader, I know where to go, right? And it took for me to come to this place where I thought like, oh my God, what's happening? Like everything that I was certain of just crumbled. And that made it that I came to this place of like, okay, you know what, all I want it's just to be at peace. Like I just want to feel love, and I want to feel loved. And 
yeah, I see that my way isn't working. So that opened up my heart more for, for Spirit's way. And yeah, my music career that looked like being very motivated to become this pop singer and, and I was actually on The Voice, um, which was a great experience. And it was after that I wrote all of these Course in Miracles songs. And these Course in Miracles songs, some of you might know the story where they just started to pour through. Like in two weeks, I wrote this whole stack of songs all inspired by Course in Miracles. And I never sang about God, never intended to, <laughs> didn't fit my idea of becoming a famous pop singer to all of a sudden start singing Course in Miracles songs. So, um, yeah, I kind of pushed it away and just stored it in my closet. <laughs> and it was really on The Voice where, yeah, it seemed to be so successful, right? Like singing every week for millions of, of people live on television. I had a great blind audition, four chairs that turned. But then my personal life was so unsuccessful in my eyes, right? Like everything felt like, yeah, it, didn't, it just didn't make sense anymore. So I think I needed that sort of extreme platform of being in the spotlight like that to be able to come to like, okay, this is actually not what I truly want. You know, I don't really care about this anymore because I rather just want to be at peace. So, and I remembered in that moment that those Course in Miracles songs, they came through for that purpose. They came through to remind me of the love that I am. And I felt that deep purpose. Um, and I surrendered to it in that moment. I was like, OK, you know, whatever you want, like, let me know. And when I'm out of this show, I'll make your, your CD. You know, just tell me where to go and how, how to go about it, because I have no idea where to go and what to do. Or, how to do this. So yeah, that started really a, a deep process of learning to trust, learning to let go of thinking that I know anything, which is still hard sometimes, because sometimes I think I'm really smart. <laughs> um, but yeah, like since then, I just seeing how things unfolded, it's I know that spirit knows so much better <laughs> than, than me, so I get more excited to just let spirit uh, lead the way for me. And um, yeah, so I handed over my voice and ended up making that first album, The Light Has Come. And uh, at first it felt like a sacrifice, I felt like I had sacrificed this idea of being this big pop star. And later I saw like it was all for me and that it was the biggest gift that, that I could ever receive. And um, yeah, so that's what this song is about. So 
see you only lead me to paradise The things that would scare me simply matter no more Cause you gave me wings and told me it was time to soar Whenever we think of this person, we 
remember that this light is in them. That the Spirit is with them even in its darkest hours. And that the most helpful we can be is really see them for who they truly are. Whenever we think of them, we think of them in light, in strength. everything inside of them to remember who they are. That they're already safe, that they're already healed, that they're already whole and complete. Through the dark night. 
thank you for joining me in that. <laughs> Is there anyone that feels to share about their experience? If you feel something on your heart, feel free to raise your hand if you feel to share something. Anyone? Yeah? It's funny that I had my best friend who called me on my way here, and I had to ignore the call for the directions, and she just called me again. And I sent her just a, a little clip of her voice, so, and that was the first person to come on my mind. She had lost her son um, to suicide, mm -hmm. and then she lost a daughter. <laughs> and now she's pregnant with twins, but it's like that was the immediate best friend that was like on my heart. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. I just want to say in a beautiful voice, um, the spirit just flows like through somewhere in that. I, I'm really enjoying that. Anyone else just to share something? Oh, okay. Over there. My mother, she is as well. And um, and her brother, my uncle, who's up in upstate New York. She lived with me. And I just held them both in, in light and in love. And um, I could just see radiant light around each of them. Um, my uncle's in a rehab right now. And I just could see him and put light all around his bed. And see his smile. And they both have cancer, just so many enough to. So yeah. just held them in the light and uh, your voice just this is transmuted that that beautiful you know get there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Anyone else wants to share? Okay. Well, so the next song is a, is a surrender song. So it's good. Like if there's anything that still feels that has been come up for you, coming up for you, then this is, the song is called I Give It All To You. <laughs> so it's really about handing over, letting go. And um, yeah, I love with this one also to see like, okay, what is it that we're not willing to hand over, right? Like how we say like, okay, spirit, you can have this, and this, and this, but not this. <laughs> this is mine. You can't touch this. I want this exactly as it is. No change. Please let it be. Um, so yeah, see if you recognize that somewhere with this song, if there's anything where you feel like, oh no, this I don't want to hand over, then maybe see if you can hand it over anyway. Or, you know, hand over your resistance um, towards not wanting to hand over it all. <laughs> Take all that I've been through. 
to be what you would have me be so I give it all to you 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 All of my past except its beauty is gone and nothing is left but a blessing oh, oh, oh. and I give my future to the one who knows best yeah, I give it all just handing it over in the hands of the spirit whatever it is what issue what relationship anything going on in your life that seems to trouble you or feels heavy let's sing it together I give it all to you you can sing it in your own way low or high I give it all to
Well, kind of feels almost the last song, second last song, perhaps. Um, so before I do my last song, <laughs> in which I have a surprise for you for the last song, um, I want to share the title song of my latest album, which is called Remember You're Dreaming. It's a fun song, and I actually wrote it while I was busy um, with my first album. I told you guys that it was really a journey of learning to trust, and it was so hard for me in the beginning. I was still, yeah, feeling so much like I have to do it by myself. Like, of course, Miracles has this line that whenever you feel anxious, it's because you're trusting upon your own strength. Like, what do we know? Like, we don't have an overview of the, of the whole, you know, and now we're here trying to pretend like we know. And of course that brings stress, because deep down I know that I actually don't know anything. So it makes me feel very fearful, right, to pretend that I do know and that I'm responsible for how things need to be. So, yeah, I thought I knew a lot in that, <laughs> the beginning of making that first album. Um, and uh, I remember like there was this time where I was like, oh my god, how am I gonna finance my vocals? And I, I was just um, like feeling like somebody was just choking me. I knew I had to record it and I didn't have money for the studio sessions. And I was feeling really stressed out and the ego was saying like, oh, just go binge a <laughs> series all day and eat food all day on the couch. Like that's the solution, right? And, um, but I could hear spirits saying like, no, go outside, like go outside, just take a walk, you know, it's okay, you're safe, let's have a little cup of tea, relax. So I went outside and there was this really cute little tea garden around the corner and I sat down and like within a couple of minutes this whole classroom full of kids came flooding in the garden and they were, apparently they had some school project or something going on there. And they were all just running and playing. And I kind of felt like it was a reflection of remember this playfulness, like as a kid, where, you, where I didn't worry about money or how to do things. Like it was just all being done for me, basically. And I just got to relax and just go with the flow. And um, yeah, so I felt that relaxation. And I had my tea. And I just closed my eyes for a moment. And I really heard this inner voice saying, like, take a deep breath. Sit down, my child. Why are your thoughts running so wild? Don't you know who walks beside you? Don't you know that only love is true? Like, remember you're dreaming. Then it came so strong, like, remember you're dreaming. Um, and I grabbed the paper. I only had a receipt from the tea that I, <laughs> that I bought. So I got the receipt from the tea, and I started writing these words that came through. And then when I came home, uh, I sat behind the piano and I, and I wrote this song. And um, yeah, it's a great reminder whenever, whenever I sing it of like, oh yes, just oh, don't take it all too seriously, you know? Remember to laugh, know who walks with you, remember you're dreaming, enjoy the show, you know, enjoy the movie. And um, yeah, if you guys, before you leave, make sure to put down your email address, I'll send you uh, some links. We have a sheet over there by the merch table. And I'll send you a music video of this song because the original one that is on my album has a beautiful feature on it from a great Hawaiian reggae artist called Mike Love. And he's just amazing. And he has this really cool uh, feature on this song. So I'm sure you will love it. So you get a little bit more of an acoustic version now. Uh, but later uh, I'll send you the music video.
workshop in this beautiful place called Serenity Farm in Virginia. And at the end of the workshop, um, there was this mantra that came through with the words, I am worthy, and um, beautiful melody. And it's a good one to improvise on. So it's going to be really just a channeled, free flow, um, just surrender to the spirit kind of song that you can sing along very easily. And I'll guide you a little bit along the way. Let me get a sip of water first. Thank you. And give it up for Jackie. So, um, yeah, feel so free to improvise with this because the chords are really so nice to just free flow with it. But I'll sing for you first how the melody came for me. And it goes like this. I am worthy. And then the second one goes like this. I am worthy. Isn't it nice? Yes. <sighs> Okay, so that's how it goes. And feel free to sing it higher or lower. And Jackie will join us with her beautiful, beautiful voice. I already feel it. I already have this voice. <laughs>
harder to accept this, that hmm, it's like, oh, I'm worthy, but they are not. <laughs> so see what comes to your mind, like, yeah, some of you might still have a grievance towards. See if you can transfer this love to open your heart, open your mind to see them as well as worthy. If you're worthy, they're worthy.
Okay, so uh, before you guys, don't try to get out of here, because uh, <laughs> I will chase you down the street. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you, I had mentioned earlier, you know, uh, Nada lives in Holland, and um, this is done because of people like you. You come out um, and support someone who has such a deep message for us. I don't know, what did you feel? <laughs> right? Yeah. I saw so many people with their hands on their hearts, which means, you know, that heart opening, just like, ooh, you went, you went there, Nada. Thank you. And um, the tears are tears of joy, because uh, this has just been beautiful. So um, I did mention that none of this could be possible without people supporting it, and that's what the love offering. So knowing that it touched your heart, show the love in some moolah. <laughs> so let me tell you, if you don't have money on you, that's OK. We can do Zelle. We can do, yeah, come on now, we can do, what else can we do? Venmo, get some more Venmo. Checks, I'd rather cash though, because we don't want to mess around with, with checks, but we'll take it. But <laughs> cash is always better, right? Okay, so I'm going to grab the little, uh, the, the vase, and then, and then I'll come around. Is that okay? That's how we're going to do it? Okay. All right, like I said, I'm taking this with me. Like I said, I'm trying to get out of here. Cause... Thanks, everyone. And I'll be by the merch table. If anyone wants a CD, a yes. picture, any, anything, come find me there. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.